Hello guys, we're actually going to go down the Champs Elysees now. I was just up there, obviously, I've done that vlog. And I met oh, these no, two ladies here. What are your names? I'm Liz. Liz. I'm Kasia. And you're from? From South Africa, and... but living in South Korea. Okay, and you're Polish. Yes. Oh, the South Korea is cool, is it? Pretty cool. Right, okay, because cool. we want to go there as well. <laughs> so I was just saying to you, I went to the top. Yeah. Did, have you been up there? We haven't yet. Right, so it's 13 euros mm. each, mm -hmm. and it's definitely worth it because you can see Montmartre, the Eiffel Tower, yeah, and you yeah. get some really good pictures. But I'm actually going to walk down there for the first time. Okay. Did you just walk up there? The, uh, the Champs, Champs Elysees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we is are it, about to go there. We're about are, to are go you, there too. I said, you, are you not going up there? We're going up there, and then we're going to go. There. Yeah. Well, I've just done that. Now I'm going down there. Oh, okay. So what, what right would down. you say to tourists is the best thing that you've done here? So far, we just started, <laughs> so we haven't done much yet. Yeah. So I think you might know a little bit more than we do. Yeah. Yet it's not my first time here, but yes. depending what you are looking for. Mo uh, what, what was the, what was the, what was the top of the sacred? Oh, that, that's the Montmartre. Yes. Did, did yeah, you yeah, walk yeah. around there? Yeah, yeah. That's and my you can see the, the view of the whole city. It's yeah. Stunning. I, I'm going to give you a little travel tip that I just discovered. Okay. I've got a sore foot, and mm. it's true, I have. Mm. But if you say to them that you have a bad leg or bad, you, sorry, we're back. I ran out of battery. They're used to me running out of battery. <laughs> so I was just saying the best tourist thing that you've done. The best right. tour. Well, we just came from Italy yesterday. In yeah. Paris, we haven't spent much time, so we're hoping that we'll discover more stuff today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But cool. definitely, it's nice to go up to the Eiffel Tower and see the. So you've done that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's definitely worth doing it. Definitely. Okay. If you're a tourist, yes. <laughs> right. That's our travel tip. But have a great time, guys. Thank you. And yes, you will be you. in the video for Champs Elysees. <laughs> it's travel with Will. Okay. Travel okay. with Will. Cheers. Will. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I thought I'd just have a quick talk with them because they saw me with the camera. I keep running out of battery. I think the GoPro batteries don't work very well when it's cold. But anyway, we are going to wander down here. It's the main shopping street in Paris. And yeah, let's have a little nosy down here. I can already see a Cartier. And if we're comparing it to where we normally are in Geneva, Rue de Rhone, then this is massive. <laughs> it's huge. I mean, look at this. I know that uh, a few Swiss people watch the channel and the French call you Le Petit Swiss and now I can see why. But I always like to do a bit of window shopping. It's really loud on here. So let's, we might as well have a look in this Cartier building. So I know some of you like, you like the shopping videos. It tells me in the uh, analytics. Now, if you do watch the channel often, you'll know that I said I would wear a pair of pink shoes if we get a thousand subscribers. Well, why not add that bag to it as well? Only if you're paying, of course. Sorry, I'm in your way. <laughs> right, so we've got some watches here. One thing we can say is that Geneva kills for the watches. Geneva is the best for that. There's lots of like travel things here. There's a lot of Irish people here today. I don't know if that lady likes just having her arm up or if she's a tour guide. <laughs> so we got the Mont Blanc. We got the Mont Blanc. I don't think it's as like chic as the Rue de Rhone, because in Rue de Rhone you don't have the uh, what I like to call the normal shops, the common shops for people like me. You've got the Dior over there. Look at that for a view. It's lovely. And actually, they've got a really because I was here with a French friend, and he needed the toilet. Um, he always does that, by the way. Hello, Charlie, that's you I'm talking about. We'll, we'll be in a restaurant or somewhere. Everyone uses the toilet and then he won't and then we'll go back to find another toilet. 
Well, we ended up in this McDonald's here to use the toilet, and it's like a spaceship in there. So over there, you've got the Hugo Boss as well. I've just realized that you've got that lovely view behind me. So I need to, I don't need to keep turning around. So this is Maison du Denmark, which is why they've got the flags there. And if you didn't know, I did go up the uh, Arc de Triomphe, and I've done a video on that as well. I've done Montmartre, so check the channel. It's in the Paris playlist. And please like, comment, subscribe. I don't really know how far we'll walk down here. Maybe for a 10, 15 minute vlog. That's a cool building over there. That white, that's Dior as well. Yeah, it's always nice to get a little natter in with someone. They were obviously not locals, but maybe we could have a chat with someone, pick someone else out. I'm, I'm norm oh, I found an Asian person. Let's ask them if they wanna, oh no, they're too old, too old. If we're gonna ask someone, we might as well ask someone who looks like they wanna speak. So you've got the Louis Vuitton down there as well. And of course you can get these bikes everywhere. These lovely little bistros, cafes, very Parisian style. Yeah, the Louis Vuitton building is over there. It's basically Rue de Rhone on steroids down here. Everything's bigger. But obviously the watches, like we said before, are better. Let's have a look at the prices here. Cafe George V. So a glass of wine is seven, a small glass. Spaghetti bolognese is 19. This is euros, of course. A cappuccino gladio is nine. So a glass of water, Evian, is six. A glass of orange juice is nine. Um, can't see the beer. So a, a cheese and ham sandwich is six. A spritzer is 15. A French onion soup is 11. So it's a pricey. But the most expensive beer I've ever had in my life was at the Eiffel Tower. Let's have a look at the Louis Vuitton building. Getting in everyone's way, ladies and gents. We're getting in everyone's way. So it seems to me that a lot of the fancy shops are on that side, near the Arc. So the metro stop here is George V, and it's on the yellow line. Pardon. As she walked straight into me. It's obviously attracted to my aura. Like <laughs> right. There's a lot of construction down here as well. I think they're redoing the floor. It's the Apple shop. I love Paris bags, seven euros. Yeah, it's a nice, it's nice for a stroll, even if you're not buying anything. Got to be careful because they're French. They drive like maniacs. It's actually a really cool building.
Yeah, so my advice to you is, is go on the, if I were you, I'd walk down that side for the better fancy shops. To be honest, I've never been a big shopper. And if I was coming to, uh, I never would plan to go somewhere to go shopping, really. It's just me, though. There's another metro here. do have a smaller Louis Vuitton there and they've got these big bus Paris things here hop on hop off, hop off which they're everywhere and there's different companies so I suppose whichever one's the cheapest would most probably be the least um, you'd see the least I did speak to a lady the other day and I think it's a bit it's a bit vague uh, how you can get on and off and how long you stay at each stop so I would research that before you come I would also suggest buying your tourism tickets before you arrive because the queues are massive and like I said to those two ladies um, you can go up the Arc de Triomphe in an elevator if you're ill but you can also do it at the uh, Eiffel Tower but you it's anyone can do it so you have to pay more for that service just going to change that camera so we got the Zara you know I'm, I'm tempted to end this vlog at the uh, the pharmacy because I've got a sore foot and I might go and buy some medication there's a lot of Chinese people here by the way someone told me to really keep hold of my camera because someone might try and steal it but I actually feel quite safe Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes. yes. Can I just ask you a few questions? Yes. Have you been to London? No. No, oh, you've not been to London? Yes. You have been to London? No, no. No, so... Oh, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good game. Right, so why did you come to Paris before London? Because he became army soon. You live, you live here? Uh, no, no, in Korea. Ah, yeah. <laughs> become army soldier. Soldier. Oh, you're an army <laughs> soldier, and you've. Oh, so 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 you're in the military, and yeah. you've been posted soldier. in Paris. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And is it is it is it good? Yeah. Okay. And are you from South Korea? Yes. yes. I want to go. Oh. <laughs> so should should I have gone to um, Seoul or Paris first? Which one's better? Well, firstly, Korea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I, okay, for the French people, the food is better in France or in South Korea? Uh, it is South Korea too. <laughs> South Korea. <laughs> uh, we can see a proud uh, South Korean here. <laughs> uh, just my last question for you guys. Do you feel safe here? Uh, no. No. Not. Why not? Because they have gun. <laughs> like the police. Ah, uh, here! Mm. Uh, ah, yes, this is safe. But, but in general, which part in a lot of Paris you didn't feel safe? Ah, uh, yes. Really? Yeah. Wow, I thought it was quite safe. Oh. So be careful in London. <laughs> because I think it's safer here than London. Uh. Yeah. But did you go to the Arc de Triomphe? Ah, uh, yes. yes. Did you go to the top? Yes. yes. And did you go to the Eiffel Tower? Of oh, course. Yes. You went to the top? Yes. How much was that? Uh, Eiffel Tower is 40 euros. 40, 40 euros to go to, 14 14. To, go to the top? Uh, 14, 14. 14. And it's, it's good? It's, it's a good view? So-so. Mm, Okay, so so. <laughs> but I, I will give you my favourite place, Montmartre. Montmartre. Yeah, have you been? Oh. No, 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 no. Tomorrow? Right, go, go. Oh. But cheers, guys. No. Have okay. a good day. Have a good day, too. Nice Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I mean, Bye. Sorry, I don't know if my hand was going all weird. I just realised they've got the Paris football shop there. I might have to go in there for my other channel, Travel with Will. So I think we'll just continue down here a little bit. It's a, to be honest, it's just like any other shopping street.
think we'll get to the end of this block. I love being American sounding the block. But, and then, oh, we can see the Eiffel Tower there. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna go to the top of the Eiffel Tower because if you come, then you have to, don't you? It's just one of those things you have to do. This, oh, they've got this indoor area here as well. You know, in France, they've got very strict laws for filming. So I can't film in the train station and I can't film in the shopping centers because it's like a weird law. Like, for example, I can film now because the camera's facing me. But if the police think the camera's facing them, then I can get in trouble. And another travel tip for you is if someone tells you to stop filming, just stop filming because you're going to get in trouble otherwise. I think in England it's way more chill when it comes to that. And Switzerland, they really don't care. There's a lot of homeless people here as well. And yeah, it's not good to point the camera at them. Well, it's nice to know that Iran Air, Iran Air has made it on the Champs Elysees, on one of the main spots over there. Of all those shops that you could have had that, that as your location to, to flog, to flog stuff to Asian tourists, you gave it to Iran Air. I haven't seen any Rolex shops or anything down here. Well, anyway, ladies and gents, it's always a pleasure to talk and ramble as I'm hobbling down the street. Oh, they've got another one there. This is a planet-friendly tour bus. Hop on, hop, hop off. I might do a video about that, actually, if I see someone I can film. But anyway, there'll be more Paris videos. I'm going to stop it here. I think we're halfway down, and we'll have a look in the Tiffany & Co window. Why not? So cheers for the likes, the subscribes, and let me know, would you, uh, hello, do you speak English? Hi, you speak English? No, where are you from? Uh, from Paris. Oh, you're French? Yes. Right, so can I just ask you, what have you done in your city as a tourist? Uh, have you guys been to the top of the arc? Yes, and it's a very good idea. Yeah. Because the view is amazing. I, I just did it. But, but what would you say for a, a tourist is something that they don't normally do that you would do? Uh, the view is uh, more large. Yeah. So it's huge. And uh, the queue is uh, less than the Tour Eiffel. Um, but is that worth going to as well? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay, and my favourite part is Montmartre. And do you say that? The French, uh, the Parisians, is that your favourite part, Montmartre? Yes, one, uh, yeah, well, yes. One, one can, of the best. Yes, one of the best. Okay, well, thank you very thank you. much. Have a bye good bye. day. Oh, it's nice to meet a local. So we'll end it here in this shop, Tiffany & Co. <laughs> and there's nothing there. <laughs> there's an empty window. You know, this guy would get pissed off if we put the camera in there. Anyway, we're ending it here. So I think we're about halfway down. And yes, so I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.